What is going on YouTube? It is your boy Jesse Almeida here on YouTube and not on Beantown Jays because this is not a Red Sox video. We are going to be reacting to Xander Bogarts' first home runs in a San Diego Padres uniform. I wanted to make a Padres video. I know there are some Padre fans that are subscribed to the channel here and I want to do my best to get some videos out for those subscribers. And alongside with that, at the end of the day, this is a Boston Sports page. Yes, it is. But I did ask you guys if you guys wanted me to cover the former Red Sox players, like the former beloved Red Sox players. So we are going to do that, and we are starting off with Xander Bogarts today. I'm wearing my San Diego gear, as you guys can see for this video here. We are going to be reacting to Bogarts' home runs. If you guys enjoy these videos, leave a thumbs up. If you guys enjoy these videos, subscribe now. If you guys are new, you guys know what to do. Go check out our website. Links in the description down below. What a good call by Don Arcello in this one here. X marks the spot. I love that. I have a hashtag here that says X going give it to you. I might have to change it to X marks the spot, honestly. So, without further ado, let's hop straight into this video. Bam! In the air to deep left field! Bam! Crush. Look at him. He's not even moving. He's not moving a single bit. He just knows that's gone off the bat. Marks the spot. That's gone in Xander Bogart's first home run in a Padres uniform. Welcome to San Diego, Xander Bogart. <sighs> I gotta admit, though, it is kind of sad. Actually, it's very sad. I'm not seeing him do this in a Red Sox uniform anymore. It's frustrating. Tell you that much it's absolutely frustrating does he end up doing the uh sue celebration let's fast forward it a little bit <laughs> bogey wisdom sue i need that i need that i like that i liked i liked you when i liked it when you did the sue i need that come on man you gotta do the sue What's the clubhouse reactions looking like? I wonder if he asked for the ball back, honestly. I wonder if he asked for it back. I don't know. We'll have to see. Alright, on to the second home run. Alright, so here's home run number two. I like their jerseys. I love that. It's that little, like, camouflage that they're doing. I like it. I like it. I think that's fire. I think that's fire. All right, let's see what he has here. He's running on the wild pitch. Now the stolen base. Fewer than two outs. How about a fly ball right here? High oh drive. my god. Bro. He did the Stephen Curry no look. He did the Stephen Curry no look. He's like, yeah, that's 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 out of here. That's gone. Here. High drive, deep left field. Xander plays in San Diego. Xander Bogarts with his second home run of the year. It's a two-run shot. And the Padres take a three nothing. That's just a beautiful swing. <laughs> that's just crazy. One more time. Actually, I don't, I don't even have to play it. I don't think. Out of the year, it's a two-run shot, and the Padres. That ex that extension is crazy. Shot. We're trying. And the Padres take it. And then the connection on that is just pure. Wow. <laughs> you know that meme saying. Oh shit. If Felipe Lopez batting to the plate, a right handed hitter, here's a pitch, crack. Oh shit. That's what this pitcher did. <laughs> Alright, time for home run number three. Alright, so now we're on to home run number three. This one was against the Diamondbacks. This was actually on the same day that I went to Fenway. For the career fair and for the Pirates game versus Red Sox. So this was on that same day. 
I would have already been set in stone for the rest of the season, and I would have saw a Bogarts homer the day I went there. That just really pissed me off there. Well, all right, let's see what this one looked like. Soto at second base. To left field for Bogarts. Carroll going back at the wall. It's gone! Can be completely honest with you? That's not a home run at Fenway. That ain't. That's off the wall. I'm gonna be completely honest there. That ain't a home run at Fenway Park. That's just not. That is a home run there. Not at Fenway. 100%. That one looked like it barely just got out. Feel for Bogarts. Carroll going back at the wall. It's gone! Yeah, that, that barely got out. That's not a home run at Fenway. Ain't no way that's getting out of Fenway. Especially in the cold weather, no way. That's a double. That's a double probably off the wall, but that ain't a home run at Fenway. And Xander Bogarts hits his third home run in a Padres uniform and puts the Padres on top 5-1. to one. He plays in San Diego. Now it's San Diego. Oh, man. <laughs> Don Arcillo kills all of his, uh, calls. He kills all- Don Arcillo kills all of his calls. He says the right thing at the right time, man. One hand flip it to the left center field. Yeah, that's definitely a double at Fenway. Seats. Xander Bogart has not disappointed Park. in his early showing in this Padre uniform. Genuinely happy for him. He's definitely worth over $200 million. A hundred percent. And he's been proving that with his start this season, so I'm happy for him. I'm happy for him. Alright, so we are gonna react to the fourth home run that Xander Bogus has hit so far in this season right now. This one was against the New York Mets just the other day. Right now, Bogey absolutely killing it over there in San Diego. <laughs> see what I did there, see what I did there, San Diego. Uh I'm a funny dude. But uh, yeah, right now Xander Bogarts is proving to the Red Sox fans that I came at in a video last year that he might have been worth the money. He might have honestly been worth the money. We can have the discussion on years or whatever, but at the end of the day, is he worth over $200 million? He absolutely is. There's no debate on that whatsoever. And I saw a thing that somebody said the other day, and it brought up a great point, honestly. I'm going to save that for another video, though. I'm going to save that for another video because Bogarts did talk to the Boston, a Boston sports media person the other day. So we will do a video on that 100%. So let's hit, react to the fourth home run here, and then off to the press conference. Beginning with a double, he's still standing there. Xander Bogart trying to bring him in. Bogart. Oh, he's angry. <laughs> he's absolutely angry. He's on vengeance this year. He's like, yep, see you later. Catch one in the air to Took deep left field. That ball is high, far, and very... Damn, that's an Aaron Judge type home run right there. Wow. Look at that. Two-run home run for Xander Bogarts. His fourth of the year. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I'm him. There's your I'm that dude. And it comes from Xander Bogarts. I'm him. Yeah. And with Santana on the mound, Xander says, Come on, I need okay, to move on. Oh, uh, that's not, you're not going to show me anything else? All right. That was the best. That Oh, man, I don't know which one was the best. It's either the first one or that one. One of the two. Those have been the best I've seen so far from this season. All right, off to the press conference we go. All right, so we're now watching the post-game show from Xander Bogarts. We still are missing Joe Musgroff. That's definitely a blow for sure to the pitching staff. But if you were to ask me, the starting pitching needs to be a little bit better. And then the bullpen needs to be better for sure. If we want to go anywhere far. I know the Padres last year... Kind of relied on their pitching in their bullpen a little bit more than their offense. It's really 
crazy to say that too because they had Machado and Juan Soto on the team. That's kind of how I viewed the Padres from last year. They kind of relied on their pitching a little bit. So this year they're kind of relying on their hitting a little bit more. I feel like if the starting pitching and the bullpen is better than these first two series, I think they'll be fine at the end of the day. So we'll see what Bogarts has to say on him hitting at Petco Park. Alongside with that, Machado's pitch clock violation and the series overall at Petco Park between the Diamondbacks. I'm assuming he's talking about the Diamondbacks series here and not his first two series here. So we'll see what he has to say on the previous series. It's baseball, you know. I mean, it's part of the game and... These guys, man, they put so much pressure on you with, on the base bats. I think today was a, a very good day where they kind of uh, exposed us a little bit, you know. Uh, but yeah, just constant pressure and I mean, it's constant. Oh, given how we started, I would definitely say it ended pretty good. Uh, obviously, winning today would have been a, a nice flight back. I mean, going to Atlanta, but we still even out the home stand, started off really bad. Uh, today was just these guys, man, get on base and it's they're gone, they're gone. Then when you, if you're in the press conference, you thought you said your swing would play well here. Oh, yeah, park. what did you think of your first uh, home stand here? I love not having a big wall, you know. Uh, I bet, <laughs> I bet you do, I bet you do. It, it, it it definitely isn't taken away from your home run from this game for sure. It's good. Trust me, having the big wall is good. Uh, it's just better for some guys that have a different swing type. You know, guys that launch the ball more higher. But it's not the swing that I've ever had. So now I know that whenever I get it on a good good exit velo, and uh, it doesn't have to be as high, it'll just go out. I mean, that one today probably would have been a single or maybe if I hustle hard, maybe a double. But Yep. I mean, That's what I, I, said. I knew right away these ones that I hit here had a good chance of, of leaving. Some people come here and they don't like hitting it. Back. Here's a question I have. Do you guys think that Xander Boris is going to be a 30 homer hitter now? I mean, it's a fair question to ask. He's He's been mostly known for his doubles at Fenway. Now he doesn't have that green wall taking away home runs from him. It's a fair question to ask. Park. You seem to do okay. I mean, it's early. It's early. Uh, but, I mean, just as I said, I mean, there's no one knows your swing better than yourself. And just having that short, I'm not saying short porch, because it's pretty far out there in left field, but it's just a short, short normal wall, you know, with my swing, more type of line drive. It plays pretty good. Obviously, they're a good team. They're going to have to go to the Mets. Uh, so, this is obviously a challenge early in the season. Uh, Tomorrow's a nice off day, get get our bullpen rested. Uh, obviously, we know we had some guys that pitched a lot this series. Uh, that's what happens early in the season. I mean, the starters don't really go too deep in the game, and, and the right. bullpen has to pick up the slack. So, a couple of days off for these guys would, would be nice. You're the biggest fan of the of the new pitch clock. Do you think we can see much? What we saw today with Manny being ejected could become more common. Oh, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Today was a little weird situation. Obviously, he, he asked for time, and he timed it up perfectly, but Ron didn't, didn't seem to give him more. I don't know what... Oh, okay. I get what happened. So, Manny Machado called timeout before he got hit with the violation, right? But the umpire didn't grant him timeout. And then he called strike three on him. That's kind of dumb. What, what? What? What happened there, but... Manny knew what he was doing. Once that clock went down, he just asked for time, but he just didn't get it. And yeah, that uh, is a little crap. Out. But if, if it was a, a point where he maybe forgot, you know, like was doing other stuff and then like, oh, sh you know, I forgot. He wouldn't have been thrown out, but he knew. He knew he was timing it up nicely and didn't get the time out that he wanted. So that's where it gets a little tricky. That's where you, you probably get real mad. Yeah. Is there anything you've done with your swing to kind of harness the power that you've shown this, this no. week? Or is it just... No. No. Feel good. He's always had Feel it. good. Healthy. He's always had that power. Feel good. I mean, that's, that's, that's big key. Do you think that has been like yelling with this team yesterday, 
season, but how have been hitting your stride? It's been nice. A uh, couple games you have to come back from behind. Uh, obviously, today was a little different. We had a nice lead, and it's baseball. It's can't win them all, and sometimes you have some really tough losses, and you have some really fun wins. Like at least you didn't get swept by one of the worst teams last year. At least you didn't get swept by them. We did yesterday. You know, they stole a game from us today. We stole one yesterday, so. Even out of series. Alright, so that's gonna do it for this video here. Leave a thumbs up if you guys enjoy these videos. Subscribe now if you guys are new, you guys know what to do. Go check out our website. Links in the description down below. Even though it has nothing to do with the Padres. If you guys just like sports in general, um, my website is about Boston sports and all that. So make sure you check that out if you want to. Um, I know there are some Padre fans who like the Red Sox. There were a couple of comments from when Bogarts announced that he was going to San Diego. There were a couple of people that are San Diego fans that like the Red Sox. So, if you guys want to check that stuff out, hit the link down below. It will bring you to my website. And, uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this video here. It's been your boy Jesse, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later, guys. First Padre video done. We'll get some more in the future.